Okay, what we're going to do now is what I did in class. We're going to go over a couple of things, um, particularly how to set up your working space, and then I'm going to go over uh, some of the uh, preferences. I'm not going to explain all the tools to you. I'm just going to be basically setting up the workspace and making sure that you are able to set the preferences as we did in class. Now, as I said, it's probably best that you work this way at home or um, when you get into class, if you don't get this same computer, you'll probably want to set up your computer um, to mimic my workspace that I'm showing you now. First, what I'm going to do, and you can't see it, but I'm going to be turning on um, Dreamweaver. Okay, and as I explained to you, um, Here's a welcome screen, and we can turn it off, but if we turn it off, what it means is it'll never come back on again until we turn it back on. And you'll have to go into preferences, and it's under general, and it's a second, it's a second uh, checkbox down. So we're going to apply. So what I did is I just turned it off, and now I'm turning it back on again. Now I'm going to close the box. Okay, um, I'm going to close the uh, startup window. Now, what you see here is I put it back under compact. If I made a big mess here on the screen, and I'm going to pull everything apart um, so you can kind of see how it is all put together, and I might pull some stuff around or out. Okay. And what I can always do is come back here under this little um, drop-down menu. And we can take and I can reset compact. And now this is exactly the way Dreamweaver has it in its default settings. Okay. So all of the uh, menu bars and such that we need are underneath the window uh, menu item. And um, so the very first thing we're going to do is rearrange the um, side panel. Now, the insert panel customarily has always been at the top of the screen. Now, you'll notice when I grab that tab, I press and I drag it over, now you see a blue line. Once I see that blue line, I can release. And so now I have my uh, insert panel at the top of my page, which is really what I want. And then if I double click on files tab, what happens is, is that I'm closing all the tabs. Double click and I reopen. Okay, what I'm gonna do is, again, because traditionally Dreamweaver has always been at the bottom portion of the panel, I'm going to slide that down. And I have, I have rearranged, whoops, no I didn't. Um, I thought I rearranged it. There we go. There's the blue line, and I pulled that down. And so now it's underneath my CSS, my cascading style shoots, both the designer and pal the uh, transitional palette. If I double click, I can close these up. Double click again, and they open. Okay, so we're pretty much good on this. There are a couple other things that I want to put right here next to my files. I want to put assets, and then I also want to put in my snippets. So I'm going to go ahead, and again, under Windows, I'm going to look for assets. Right here it is. And it'll open, hopefully. There it comes. So here's my assets. So what I'm going to do, assets, as I told you in class, primarily let me see all the images that are within my website. Um, I don't use it that much, but a lot of people do. Um, but anyway, so files, and then my next tab is assets. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, open snippets. And when I open snippets, I'm just going to slide that over to the side of assets. And you can see it turn blue and release. So now what I have is file. Files, Assets, Snippets. So we're almost done with uh, the uh, workspace. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to get a couple more uh, panels, 
And what I want to do is I'm going to drop them in right be well, actually, um, I'm going to have to drop them. And the, first of all, they're going to appear below. And then I'm going to have to bring this properties palette down underneath. So let's do that. So under Windows, I'm going to go to Results. And if I click on any of these, let's go and validate. What you'll notice is everything appears down below my Properties palette. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my Properties palette, grab the tab, yank it in. And what you'll see is, again, we got the blue that appears. I'm going to release it. Now my Properties is way off to the right-hand side, and I'm going to slide that over very slowly because if I don't, what happens is it's just going to pop right back at the end. So it just, you got to do it slowly. There it goes. It's beyond validate. Now one more. Pass search. Okay. So now what I have is I have this, all of these um, tools. Search is, um, so if I find and replace, Validation, uh, those of you who have been in HTML will know that this is how we validate. Uh, link checker, I don't use that very much, so I'm just going to close it and get it out of the way. And then what I'm going to do is go to uh, site reports. I don't really care about that so much. I'm going to get rid of that. And I am going to keep my FTP log. Okay, so now my workspace is pretty pretty well set up. So I now need to save this workspace so I can come back and use it again. And I'm just going to go under uh, New Workspace. And I'm going to say this is Bill's uh, Workspace. You can name it whatever you want. I'm going to say OK. And what you'll notice is Right here it is, Bill's Workspace. I've saved it. Now let's say that I want to get rid of You notice that I've already set it up previously, and now I got two, which isn't really necessary. So I'm going to go into Manage Workspaces, open that up, and I'm going to select Bill's Design Space. And I'm just going to hit Delete and say Yes and OK. So now what I have is I only have the one, and again, now if I start dragging things out and getting them all messed up, what I can do is I can come here and I can reset Bill's workspace and we're back in operating order. Now, I'm going to quit this video. I'm going to save it. And we're going to do a second video and then I'm just going to walk you through, um, I'm just going to walk you through the, uh, the preferences.